I, people often ask me, how do you make a good YouTube video? So here's my top five of how to make your YouTube video go. So when do your YouTube videos go viral? Well, first and foremost, put a cute baby kitten in it. Hey, I said a cute baby kitten. You can do much better than that, come on. Hey, now we're talking. Okay, if you want to do some real science movie, it's not quite as easy. First, put a face in front of the camera and talk lively. Nobody wants some guy just explaining stuff. Of course, your host can also be an animal, a cartoon, or a cute baby kitten. Viral video rule number two. Make usual unusual. A normal polarization filter can do many more aesthetic things. Well, um, you can always take a tiny girl and give her a big tool. <coughs> I mean, why using speakers when you can have plasma speakers? Or boiling water in a paper cup. Science video rule number three. Label. If you label your videos, people will believe what they see. So if you don't want to see some big ass button now, look away. Ooh, I warned you. You want to see that sharper? Okay. Four. Actually, I should shut up right now because the music and the sound effects are getting your attention quite good. Wow, look at this rainbow! It's so beautiful! Almost like a baby kitten. Oh wait, it's just dancing your laser and it's cutting towards me. Wait a minute, wasn't it the same freaking picture? And last, but definitely not least, you must always address your students' conceptions. We too often think of our students as empty boxes before they come to us. Well, that's our misconception. In fact, our students know a lot before they come to class. And the only problem with that is, well, that the scientists don't want to see it that way. <coughs> misconceptions are persistent. If you only address how things work, People will pay not their utmost attention, think they understood, and be even more confident in their misconceptions. So, to put this in a nutshell, your videos will go viral when, first, you put an emotional face in front of the camera, second, make usual things look unusual, third, label to focus the attention, go absolutely crazy on the music and sound effects, and most importantly, always address your students' conceptions. Misconceptions are persistent. If you don't address the misconceptions, they will stick, and people are even more confident in what they thought before. If you only address how things work, people will pay not their utmost attention, think they understood, and be even more confident in their misconceptions. And you know what? It trickles up. Let me give you an example. Aerodynamic turbulences cause drag, and essentially cost fuel, and money. So you want to avoid that little tiny swirls. So here's my little quiz for you. Which shape causes less drag? Shop side front or shop side to the back? Well, if you think you know the answer, take a look at that. Well, I will leave you with that confusion now, because that's where learning starts. Bye. Ah!